right, so we are in the kitchen now with Chef Jenny, who made a one skillet chicken cacciatore in what was supposed to be yep. 30 minutes, but was less. So you're just putting the finishing little seasoning on just it Just a little bit of parsley. Fresh parsley would be better. I forgot to get it. So this is just dried parsley, but it still looks nice. A little pop of green yeah. makes it look nice. So I did both chicken breast and um, chicken thighs. Mm -hmm. You can do either one. You just keep it at a, at a consistent bubble with this nice sauce. And there's potatoes in here, there's corn, so there's starch and vegetables. There's a little bit of turkey bacon to give it a nice smoky flavor. Which we could do with regular bacon if we have that yes, in the house. You could. I know. I'm just saying. You know, I don't like eating We're in the eggs. South. I know. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, yeah, you could do it with, of course, you can do it with regular bacon. Um, you did red potatoes. Yeah, Is red there a reason potatoes, why? they look pretty. Okay. You don't want to use um, baking potatoes. They're floury. That's a hard word to say, floury. Mm -hmm. And they would just fall apart faster. Mm. So red skin or Yukon gold. Those are called waxy potatoes. And yeah, that's it. I think it's such a pretty dish. And it literally, it takes maybe six or seven minutes to put it together and then you just simmer it and that's it. So I could adjust this how I wanted because you've got a lot of different vegetables in here but uh -huh. I could throw in some things or omit some things yep. as I see fit because there's some corn in here. Right. Just Don't came like straight corn. off, the, cor off yeah, the cob. Yeah, I cut it yeah. off the cob. I mean if you, but if you want to put in something like broccoli you would mm -hmm. do that more towards the end. Mm -hmm. the, the important thing with the vegetables is cut them all the same size. Okay. And they'll cook at the same rate but things like these are tubers, so these are potatoes and carrots and things that grow underground like onion. So we had to make sure to cook them for a while. Yeah, and when you're cooking, you said you gotta cut them all to the same size. That I feel like is the most time consuming for me is dicing a potato that small. So you can cut the potato and all the pieces larger. Mm -hmm. um, just lower the heat. We'll have this recipe on our Facebook page. Um, lower the heat a little bit and it'll just have to cook longer. Okay. The, they, they cook faster when they're smaller. Fair enough, but if yep. I don't have those chopping skills, I shouldn't feel intimidated. <laughs> true, true. Truth. John Wendell, it's about that time when you come in <laughs> to try the food. I'm saying it's about that time like three minutes ago. <laughs> it, it does look really good. This it is just, John Wendell approved. There's no dairy. Right. There's no dairy. I feel like you should try since I have a cold. I don't want to oh. be the one to cut in and infect everybody. And you can just serve it with... Um, nice rolls to sop up you know there's a good amount of sauce if you wanted to do like rice you could do that but i wanted to make this one skillet yeah so very flavorful Isn't so this sauce mm -hmm. is what i know there's the wine the sauce <laughs> is super easy it's wine it's beef consomme now that is something consomme. different rather than broth it just not has a deeper broth. richer flavor and mm -hmm. i did not dilute it so i used about two-thirds of a can and wine and then a lot of tomato paste and that's it okay i didn't need so a little bit of time yeah that's it. Right. I'm going to have the next piece after I do the weather <laughs> because I don't want to talk with my mouth full because this is excellent. Weather today, hot. 93 degrees and some locations may even be a few degrees hotter than that. But we're looking at sunny skies, very warm day. Tomorrow, I think we'll get the eclipse in with just some minor cloud cover. Uh, temperatures again in the 90s. Watch out for Wednesday. We could see some stronger thunderstorms, but then watch out for the beautiful weather possibly after that.